Good morning guys, what you well. Same process as ever, Mike from either side. Please raise your hands, let us know that's asked a question. And we'll set an embargo partway through for 10.30 this evening. Start with Mike, please. Afternoon, Pep. Um, one place to start, and that's the Champions League draw earlier today. Rubbing your hands at Real Madrid again? Sorry? Rubbing your hands, excited by the prospects of Real Madrid again? Yeah, we don't have another option. <laughs> yeah, it's, it looks like... Uh... A little bit tradition, not three years in a row. So playing the king of the competition because winning 14 Champions League. But uh, yeah, it's what it is. Hopefully we can arrive in a good moment and still a few weeks uh, before the first game in, in Madrid. And yeah, we'll see. Are you happy with the, the fact that the second leg will be at home? A chance perhaps to do what you did last season? Listen, the draw, you're going to control the draw. So. Normally when the people say this draw is easy, it's because you undermine the other opponent. So, so we, it's not necessary to say what is Real Madrid in this competition. And the draw, the, the second leg at home, when two seasons ago was away. So it, it's what it is. So we have to do two good games there and here to, to go through. Um, another cup competition this weekend, Newcastle. Yeah. Um, you've had some real good battles with them this season, tight, close games, and I assume you expect the same tomorrow? No, this season, the previous one and the previous one, since Eddie Howe was there and the people from Saudi Arabia took take over, so it always have been a really tight games and don't expect differently tomorrow, but they have an incredible chance again at home and our people. From now on, we need until the end of the season, every home game, the support for our fans like uh, we had against United. I don't remember for a long time environment that was against United, we need that, and tomorrow is not an exception. To reach uh, yeah, Wembley semi-final again. And we know, or it's, it's likely, Stefan Ortega will play tomorrow in goal with Edison's injury. Firstly, A, is, how is Edison? And secondly, what are Stefan's qualities that draw him so close in comparison he, to Edison? He has proven since, since he arrived an incredible quality performance. So we are delighted with all three keepers, but you know, the moment when he has to play always has performed unbelievable. So, and it is getting better. So hopefully after international break we'll be we'll be ready. Um, hi, Pep. Can I just ask you about Kevin? Um, learned this week about his injury. How how serious is it, and um, when when do you expect him to be back? Well, he's not ready. <coughs> he already played in Anfield with some. Problems, uh, uh, but it's getting better. It's not ready for tomorrow, and I'm pretty sure with the. So we spoke with a manager from Belgium, from Domenico Tedesco, and and he decided, and that's why I'm grateful because he didn't feel good, and can recover for the last part of the season. Uh, when you say you played at Anfield with some problems, how long has it has this been an issue? No, he played well. We have. You know, all the players today in modern football, they are not clean. Always they have problems, but the moment when finish the game, the day after he didn't feel good and and <laughs> make a, a proof, then it's better to take a, a step back. Okay, and just on Jack Grealish, how is he progressing? Yeah, getting better. Getting, getting better. Too soon for this weekend, presumably? Uh, we'll be select, yeah, we'll, he's in the group. Okay, thank you. Hi, Pep. Just uh, coming back quickly to the Champions League draw. Um, is it special that, obviously, after so many years uh, after you left Spain and the, the, the rivalry between Barcelona and Real Madrid were part of your life since you were a player, is it special that now they are back into your routine in a way? Like you said, it's the third season in a row. But I would say it's a, for us, it's, it's a little bit new. <laughs> new. For Real Madrid, it's not special to play qualifying at the Champions League. So for us, even the last years have been quite consistent many times, doing finals, semi-finals, final, now qualifying again. So we start to be in this routine, to be in lesser stages. When you play in lesser stages, you play against the best teams in the Europe, and Real Madrid is there. Sometimes the draw decide to play, sometimes no, sometimes we go through, sometimes we are out. So. It where it is. I don't pay much attention about it is opponent. So all the opponents were really, really tough. Everybody knows it. And we were all the time before the draw, we are excited because it's a privilege. Every time we are here is a privilege. It was 
In no cut stage, it was the last 16, now quarterfinals, always it is. So this is a special competition. I've said many times, I don't know if it's the most difficult one or not, because the Premier League or La Liga or Bundesliga or Serie A or and French and whatever, always is difficult. There are a lot of games. But this one is, you know, it's, it's special. It's make you feel, you know, go to Europe and, you know, with the team, with the club, organization, go everywhere and try to play our best football. It's, it's so nice. And on Newcastle, um, Bruno <coughs> Guimarães is a player that you have uh, complimented publicly and personally. What, what characteristic is characteristics of his game you, you like the most? Exceptional folding midfielder. Aggressive, with the ball, have the pose. Uh, and set pieces is aggressive and uh, a real, real complete holding midfielder. Since playing in Lyon, when he was playing there, uh, and now he's in a, a club, <coughs> like want to grow up and grow up, and I'm pretty sure he's part of the project for the next years, definitely. You mentioned the two tight games with Newcastle already this season. It's been difficult for them with the Champions League and with all the injuries they've had this time around. But what do you make of the job that Eddie Howe has done there? And Excellent. has he manoeuvred them into a position where they'll challenge for all the big trophies in seasons to come? Honestly, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. The intention should be, but I don't know. The work is there. So they installed the club in another level. So it's like us when we begin. So we need the support from behind and after the managers and bring the club. And Eddie has done it. What happened this season, I'm not there. I didn't speak with Eddie, so I don't know. But I'm pretty sure they want to take a lessons for the future, you know, to be every, every time closer and closer. And Calvin Phillips was left out of the England squad yesterday. Gareth Southgate said he needed to find his rhythm and confidence, obviously, you've worked closely with him. Do you think he, he's capable of regaining that and forcing his way back in for the Euros? Of course. Of course, I hope for. I, I would. Calvin has said many times, so he's an exceptional guy and, and he needs the minutes that they didn't get here and, and he's trying to, to, to have them in, in London. Cidan Binal from TV Sport, Turkey. Uh, if you make another treble, you will be the first manager in history. And to do so afterwards, uh, will you continue your goals with Manchester City or uh, will you choose a different path uh, like your friend club? I'm curious about it. I don't think about that right now. So in the last month of the last two weeks of the season, I would let you know if you ask me this question. That is far, far away. So. I never thought last season about that. I'm not thinking right now after done it. So it's now is the tomorrow is the quarterfinals against the top team at home with our people to reach a semi-final FA Cup. I don't know four or five times in a row. I don't know how many. So and this is this is our target, step by step. And after recover, go to national teams. The players hopefully come back and I play a final, another final against Arsenal. Can I ask a second question? Uh, I'm curious about about Ederson. Uh, how long will you play without Ederson? Tomorrow for sure. Mm -hmm. After you have uh, two weeks off, they will recover and we'll see when we come back next Wednesday, Thursday, how does he feel? Hopefully as soon as possible.